Good morning everybody and welcome back to a new day. Michelle is still killing everything hurts. Back, bottom of my back. But I'm just doing Fifi's food. She's to be fed four times a day. Uh, so we're splitting her meals between four day, four, every four hours. But today she's got to start on this panicure and she's to have one mil one mil to be given uh, for every kilo that she is so she's to have six kilo six mil because she's six point six so you get a little cut why not give you a syringe <coughs> and then it's like that And the reasons why she's tough this is because she's with puppies. So anyway, how is Michelle gonna see that? So here goes. Oh. Take the lid off first, that would help. <coughs> I've got a stupid cough again. Oh shit, that's certainly not. I'll come back. So, I haven't got a clue. So, I'm using. <laughs> Ignore the spot. So, I'm using a Calpol syringe, 5 mil, and then 1 mil. 5 mil. Let's see if, if this is just one mil. I think that's okay. Just have it once a day. So yeah. And then what we do is we just mix it in with all the food. One mil per kilogram weight, which is six kilos. So, hopefully, we've done it correctly. So, that's how it looks. We are medication. Sit down, sit, leave it. That's it for good girl. <coughs> so I'm gonna put this stuff away. I'm gonna get my notepad for Fifi and I'm gonna concoction something together and I'll come back and show you. I'm stressed. So I'm reading the leaflet of this. And it does say one mil per body kilo weight, kilogram weight, which I've gave her. But then on the back, it says pregnant dogs, one mil per four kilogram body weight from day 40 of pregnancy to two days after post whelping. So I really don't know whether I hold it, don't I? Oh, 
anybody out there that's had dogs, puppies, that's had panicure? So I'm now waiting for the vet nurse to ring me back. So I don't know whether I've overdone her and she's had three times as much. But I've already gone off what this is on leaflet. And it says one mil per kilogram weight to be given every day from day 40 to day to two days post whelping. Anyway, I'm going to wait and see, we'll see what they say. And if I have overdone her, I've overdone her and it's on their head because they said on that. It's a good job I've looked at this. Anyway. I'll see you what, what you were doing on. Why? I'll come back in a minute, Scarlett's on. So guys, I just want to come on and show you that this is what we've got welcome wise for Fifi. So what we've got is we've got some unwaxed dental floss because if we've not got a clamp, and uh, if we've not got a clamp to clamp, it, to clamp the cords off, if the dog doesn't get the cords off, we've got to tie this round and cut it off. Uh, some Dettol hand sanitizer. We've got three packs of floss, which we'll not need, but it were a box of three. Uh, pack of gloves, 100. And then we got this. Now this is a welping kit. It's a set. I haven't unpacked it because I wanted to keep thing, but it's got a little bottle of milk, little pack of milk. Uh, it's got, you can't see, but it's got a bottle, bottle layer, and then it's got a uh, hand gel, uh, mouth sucker upper. I wonder if I could actually unpack it. In fact, I can, I think, because everything is sterilised already. It's all packed up. So, what we've got is puppy milk. We've got a small pack of that. And a feeding set. That's if the pups don't, what you call it. We've got a sterile, sterile two mil syringe that's already in the pack. Uh, iodine, to, for, to think of the card. Five times card clamps. So we've got them. So they are individually wrapped. So that's a good thing. So we don't need the floss. A five mil syringe. Sterile lubricant. Ru 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 sterile. 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 sterile lubricant, hand wipes, hygiene wipes, first aid wipes is all in this pack here. That's all closed. The sucker upper upper to get the mucus out of the mouth. Uh, pair of gloves, I've got my own but you know. Apron, I'm gonna buy some more, but we've got one apron. Sterile scissors, 
Sterile. Sterile. Forceps. Oh, oh. midwifery. I think this is to clamp the cord though. So we've got some of them. I think that's to clamp the cord and then you cut it and whatever else you do. Oh. Disposable towels. Five of them. We know she's having four, but eh uh, oh. Uh, hand sanitizer. Helping kit. This is the, oh, so it gives you, uh, it tells you what to do. Instructions. Instructions. That's for the sucky sucky upper. Each nostril and mouth. Uh, that's just a thank you for your order. This one is the card to tell you how to do the card. So you clamp it and then you cut it, it says. Leave clamp in place for around 20 minutes. If mum doesn't chew, if mum does, if mum does not chew card, clamp the card off with the forceps and no sorry that's wrong if mum doesn't if mum does not chew card clamp the card off with the forceps or card clamp see image when the sterile with the sterile scissors and cut the card what <laughs> a quarter to half from the puppy's tummy leave clamp in place for 20 minutes then carefully remove it once any bleeding has stopped carefully remove carefully cut and remove if using card clamps so you can you can you can forcep it and then put the clamp on and then cut it uh, and that's just a whelping pack so we need them because you know first timers and all that that's just saying what we've got in Jamie's name uh, paper temporary ID bands so the like swimming bands that you put around the necks uh, but we have somewhere in house collars and I really don't know where they are I'm gonna have to get all suitcases out of pantry upstairs closet and have a look so we've got different colors of them red green yellow purple blue whatever colors and then last Ooh. last but not least we have got some whelping liners which is dog pads basically so we've got plenty of doggy pads we're gonna go get some more so we're gonna put all this back in here To keep it all together because I'm going to buy a table to put it all on so it's all set up nice so yeah so that is what we've got whelping wise thank you so that what vets on phone uh, yeah good job I've rung them and asked them because I have gave her six mil, so she can't have none tomorrow. The six mil is a one-off dose that's gonna worm her, but then after tomorrow, we'll give her just over one mil because she's 6.65. If she gets to eight kilos, we'll give her two mils. And then she's to have one, just over one mil every day until two days after whelping. Just depends on how much weight she puts on. So I'm gonna go because Winston's now got is vaccinations Scarlett's going to take him with Jamie uh, and she's also going to ask for Nala's worming tablets so Scarlett's bedroom's tidied let's see what William's done oh well that's okay semi tidy well it is tidy I don't know why I'd have the fan oscillating uh, fans off 
Saving electricity. <laughs> I don't know why his computer's on. I'll have to ask him. But anyway, that's tidy. So that's the bed all washed and put back on. Just telling you this because I'm filming today. So, all done. So guys, I have just had a shower because my body still hurts. So what I've done is I've had a shower. I'm now in bed. I've got my stuff on my spot. I've cleansed my face. And I've got the biggest, baddest backache and bum ache. And like my shoulders and my arms is not as bad as as me and my legs is not as bad. But my back and my bum is like oh the muscles who would know that you've got muscles in your bum it's crazy and like all down middle of my spine and across back of my back so i am going to finish this vlog uh it is i've shown you what we've got whelping wise i have found some material that I have cut into pieces that I am going to use as like a throwaway towel. So when a pup's delivered and she's done what she needs to do, rub it down to get it dry, and that's what we're going to be use. That's what we'll use, and then we'll bag it up, throw it away straight away, uh, so there'll be no cross contamination. Only thing I've got to buy more of is some aprons uh re reusable you know, not reusable disposable aprons uh i cannot find i cannot find really cannot find the i was looking up there because i didn't know if i'd put it up there but i have lost some uh collars that I bought a while ago and they were up at unit and when we've emptied unit I don't know where I've put them now now Scarlett seems to think that they were in the box under a desk now that box has been put into a black box at top of stairs I have gone through that the nor in that I've gone through all the suitcases nor in that uh, stuff that were in suitcases actually are going to be going to dump it because we don't need them no more uh, so I really don't know where they are the only place I could think that they are in is either Jamie's top drawer or Scarlett's bottom drawer I am going to ask Scarlett so I am going to finish this vlog so the bits that you've seen is uh, the whelping stuff that we've got for pup it's not at all but it is what we've got up to now so please don't forget to like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on hit your bell and come back for another vlog with me the life with busy sar and on that note take care be safe and good night